How are you doing, Internet? I'm Bean Nuts, and last time on Star Trek Online, we click on war. This is Dana Brot of the transport SS Azura. Please help. Warp core containment field down. Radiation flooding ship. Communications and life support failing. Cannot eject warp core. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. We discovered that there was. Actually, first we discovered that the Klingons discovered that there was an Undyne plot to replace some people with Undyne infiltrators. And because the Klingons had discovered this, they were suspicious of the head priest at a monastery in Vulcan space, and they killed the priest before the Undyne could get to him and replace him. So, he died and we repelled the Undyne who had replaced one of the Vulcans but that left us in limbo and the questions of why the Undyne were doing this and who else is replaced but now we have a distress call from the SS Azura so let's go answer it to any ships in range this is Dana Brot of the transport SS Azura. Please help. We're being pursued by Orion Raiders. Crew injured. Taking heavy fire. Dropping out of warp near your coordinates. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. Keep tracking that signal. And of course, Orion are slavers too, so that's never good. But we can handle them. Two more near us. And the Zura is stranded, it's not going anywhere. We already know about this minigame. Let's get moving. And there's one more on the other side of this asteroid. Let's climb a bit. There is a limit to how far up we can go, but I would suggest that that's not going to play a major role in this battle. Take down that shield a bit. That's good. And I only have the four of them. I got the scarf and the jacket from Q's Winter Wonderland, by the way. <laughs> Captain, I'm concerned about the radiation on the Azura. She might have some damage to the warp core, but our sensors can't pick up enough to determine exactly what you'll find over there. I'm sure I can send you and the away team to the ship safely, but getting you back might be a problem until the Azura's critical damage is repaired. Step on the transporter pad when you're ready to go, and be careful, sir. No problem. Hmm. I can shrink this back down to one, since I don't have any other skills here to add. Right, let's go. You mess up. And you'll see the game is set up where the Azura is technically part of the same map. Hmm. 
Use consoles to bypass. We don't have enemies yet. Hey look, a crate. <laughs> Sometimes we can pick up some small things along the way. Why waste? There's a way I could get up there, but there's no reason to do that. So in other words, rooms like this are not useful unless you're a uh, science officer. There's a room here. We really can't help them, huh? And should shut off the one outside. This one. I will admit I forgot about that. There they go. Okay, where's the thing in here? We hid an Orion ambush on our way to K7. We lost our weapons almost immediately, and then we took a direct hit near engineering. Our warp engine's magnetic antimatter containment field failed. We had no choice but to drop shields and use the power to try to stabilize the containment field. As soon as the shields were down, Orions boarded the ship. Yeah, that was their plan, obviously. It's how they operate. I'll never let those green pirates have the Azura. Please, take my crew to safety. I'll keep trying to stabilize the warp core. If I'm lucky, buy you some time. Well, wow, her dialogue doesn't mention the King Klingons. The spoken one, I believe. Then lies the rope core. Access this. What's it going to make me do? Rear it the power. Deploy the containment field. This is what you can do if you're in engineering. Level 10 field won't repair all the damage, but should contain it, give it a chance to survive. 
and then it can be repaired. Engage the force field. There we go. And there are the Klingons. And if you have tactical, you can actually um, get those to vent plasma. It is no surprise that the cowardly Orions cannot even handle raiding a break. But their call for assistance has given us a chance for glorious combat! I picked that up from Q's Winter Wonderland too. Unfortunately, there's nothing that I, more I can do here, so we are out. Thought we contained it. You'll have me there too. On screen. Now, if you do what's good for you, Starfleet, we are taking this ship, her crew, and her cargo. Can't do that. Let's drop this one here. Not that you need it exactly. <laughs> Make sure away from things when they explode, because otherwise that could damage us. I'll take that. Many thanks. If it hadn't been for you and your crew, I would have lost my ship and my life. I'm in your debt. I'm setting a course to Earth's space dock for repairs. If I see you at Club 47, the drinks are on me. I think I might even have a few bottles of Tranya in the cargo hold. But are they full of radiation? Well done. You saved that crew just in time. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Starfleet has lost contact with the Federation science station in the Kasei system because all communications from Kasei 2 must be boosted by a satellite that compensates for Metreon isotopes prevalent in the system. It may be that the communications array is in need of repair. Please make the necessary repairs to the communications array and re-establish contact with the science station. Pass your way to danger lurk in space, and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict, but there are many who oppose peace. Detecting Gorn's ships. 
Defeat the Gorn ships, scan the communication array. Off a bit. Move them closer to the defense satellite from the Prior's world. All these buffs I'm getting from the Kobayashi Maru. Cool thing is that it actually buffs allies as well. Let's take that. Scan the satellite. See, that's why I got them earlier. I can just beam to it. And again, those are the only bridge officers I have. The Man, it's tough. They just stormed in and started shooting. The first sign of trouble was when we lost contact with the communications array. The Gorn beamed in and started shooting. They destroyed our computer core and took thousands of artifacts we spent years collecting. The Gorn. Yeah. They, Captain Jean-Luc Picard and the crew of the USS Stargazer <laughs> discovered ruins from an unknown civilization here almost 60 years ago. The Federation Science Council has been researching this site at two years ago. We found a star chart in the catacombs that indicated that this civilization had contact with interstellar travelers more than 15,000 years ago. The chart led us to another site on Casse 4, where we found the most extraordinary artifacts. If we're correct, the race that once lived here may have been an advanced proto-reptilian race. Maybe the Iconians. They just stormed the Gorn have extremely long memories. Thousands of years ago, the Gorn hegemony ruled this entire sector. In their minds, the Gorn, they just not everyone. There are several members of our team still unaccounted for. Please, you must find them. The Gorn destroyed our automated fire suppression system in the initial attack. You will find fire suppression devices on the walls that you can use to fight the fires. Sure. I'm coming with you, Captain. There's <laughs> too much at stake, and I know this project. Okay, then. Fire extinguisher. Oh wait, I do have it. I just have to get near stuff. The Klingon invasion was a blow to Gorn's self-determination and identity. Let's set up some of these. I think he's supposed to be dead, or not. He's a scientist. I did not have those crystals when I did this originally. Oh, would you look at that? Pick up that. Beam you out. Let's put up this fire. These kinds of raids are the Gorn's attempt to reclaim their identity through their history. Well, I can understand trying to reclaim your history and such. Just better if it's not at the expense of another people. Look 
Look at all this damage. We'd have helped if the Gorn had just asked. I guess when one of your leaders turns out to be a shapeshifter, though, it damages your sense of trust. And yeah, this kind of barbarian has no hope at all. It'd be helpful if I could give the rest of them extinguishers and have them help it. I'll just take care of this since it's close. Oh, I've read myself a bit. Kasei 4, involved in a dig at a promising site. Given what the Gorn have done here, I'd imagine that team is in trouble. Captain, we have to check on them. Okay. If the Gorn have taken over the dig site, the researchers could be captives. Or worse. Let's go. And hopefully I'll pick up another level too. Acetone thing. I really didn't need to do all that, did I? Wait, is that firing on the Kobayashi Maru? Let's use this one. And as it's on the simulator again, I hate those kinds of things. Uh, why am I not damaging it? Like, at all. Okay, take care of this one first then. One thing's not happening, try another. May not be a good idea to go too far sometimes. It breaks the mission. The other would have started me over from the start. This is the dig site that our team was working on. They set up several shield generators to help protect the most important artifacts from further damage. There's a small encampment under the shield dome. The Gorn probably came in and took over everything. Okay, if so... If we disable the shield generators, we may be able to get inside and rescue the other archaeologists. Look up. Cut it. Our understanding of Gorn evolution is woefully inadequate. Are they even offspring of the Crusaders? Get out of my way. Gorn territorial shield power is dropping. What is going on? A diplomatic solution could help to save Gorn heritage without disrupting Federation colonies. Well, in a way, that is the hope. That's somehow floating in midair.
more fluctuations! Increase the power to the shields! It's easy when you have a little bit of help. The protective shields are down! Incompetent fools! He left. What fun is that? What to be up? There's no sign of the other team. The Gorn must be holding them captive elsewhere. The body. So if I go like this now, it should point right back towards the body. So that means that we're done here. Beam up. You are meddling in affairs you do not understand. This system was the home of our ancestors. It belongs to the Gorn by ties of blood and conquest. But he can't kill people over it. Allow grave robbers and thieves to desecrate hallowed ground without punishment. They could get away right now if they wanted to. Do. Eh, so much for that they might get away. Beam those hostages aboard. Whoops. They're exhausting me. If the archaeological yep, sites in the Cassay system really are from a proto Gorn culture, we will have to weigh carefully the knowledge we gain versus what the Gorn claim to be their own history. The Federation Science Council has a lot to consider. For now, though, I'm glad the researchers are safe. Good work. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You have just earned your first skill points. Click here to learn more. <laughs> Skills will increase your effectiveness in both space combat and ground combat. Select any skill to see a full description of Commander the Commander Burgess, by Starfleet Intelligence. Every space There's something I'd like you to look into. To it well, could change the course of the war in our favor. We have intel suggesting that the Klingons are operating a secret weapons levels. facility in the Haromi cluster. We also believe the base is under the command of Ambassador Bavat, a controversial figure in Klingon politics. I'd like you to get Someone's using fireworks. And soon. To that end, I'm sending one of my top agents to join you on the mission. I think you'll find Lieutenant Van Zyl to be a very capable officer. Don't hesitate to seek her counsel in the field. Proceed to the Briar Patch and find out what the Klingons are up to. If there are any weapons there, you are to deactivate or destroy them. And should you encounter the Ambassador, do bring him in. I'd like a word. Admiral Quinn says you're the right officer for this job. For each skill purchased, you will earn progress in unlock paths. Space skills have three paths corresponding to the engineering, science, or tactical categories, while ground skills have only a single unlock path. They also come with business skills. 
clocks sometimes offer choices upon reaching certain milestones. They are also the primary means of learning to train your bridge officers in new abilities. You may select any unlock node to see what benefits it provides. Powerful abilities can be earned by spending 25 or more of your space points in a single category of skills. You will not be able to earn enough space or ground points to purchase everything available to you. You may change your skills by clicking the Retrain Skills button. But I do believe that does it for this video in this episode. It has been almost an hour anyway, recording. Once I get this edit done, of course it will be shorter. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You can leave a like, comment below what you thought, subscribe to show your support, and ring that bell, whatever you'd like to do. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.